Today, more than 99% of Europeans and Americans, and about two-thirds of the human population, lives in areas where the night sky is considered polluted by light. 96% of the European population are unable to see our galaxy, the Milky Way, and 40% of Americans live in such bright surroundings that their eyes actually never switch to night vision. In a place like that, one of the only visible elements in the night sky is the moon. Nights disappear in the artificial light from street lamps, outdoor advertising, apartments and car lights which illuminate the night sky to such an extent that the cities are completely encircled by a yellow-orange haze, also called light pollution. Light pollution is a term used for the negative consequences of excess or invasive man-made light. It is estimated that in the US alone, 17.4 billion kilowatt hours are annually wasted into the atmosphere. That equals $2.2 billion, about 30% of the annual amount budgeted to lightening the streets, enough to annually fund a new mission to Mars. Today, light pollution is so significant that most of us have forgotten what true darkness looks like. Astronomers use the Bortle scale to classify darkness. Nine corresponds to the brightest cities in the world, and one to natural darkness without any signs of artificial light. We may assume that the rate 1 does not exist in the world today, and that the majority of Europeans and Americans live under a night sky rated 5 or more. When we think it's dark, it's actually far from it. Today, romantic yearnings after starry nights is the least to worry about. Light pollution might have direct consequences for both humanity and our environment. For millions of years, the Earth and its inhabitants have evolved in a natural rhythm between bright days and dark nights. But during the last 100 years, developments in artificial light has escalated so rapidly that neither nature nor its species have had the time to adapt. In the recent years, many nocturnal species have become threatened and even extinct by the rising levels of light. Researchers have found links between people living a life polluted by light and certain types of cancer. Even links to diabetes, obesity and depression have been found. Also trees, which we so heavily rely on, are said to produce around 7% less oxygen when exposed to light pollution from populated areas. But contrary to other of our world's many problems with contamination, light pollution is comparatively easily remedied. 